YouTube opinionated review here and you guys already know I don't sleep I just keep you guys updated yeah I'm bringing you guys a better tweak review yeah this tweak is in the better stages it's super awesome and it could be of the future <laughs> but this tweak is called I user it's by Pedro I'm not gonna even try to pronounce his last name it's free at the moment not sure if when it blows up if it be paid but yeah it's free and it's not yet in any of those repos it's in a personal repo I guess and the repo is gonna be in the description down below just add that repo if you wanna check this out now what this allows you to do is add multiple users to your iPad account kinda like when kinda like if you had how should I say like when you have a Windows and you log in it, that's similar to what it is as you can see I have a little like icon here on my lock screen if I tap that it brings up multiple users and those are the users that I created I only created two for the purpose of this video and I'm currently on my main user so I'm gonna go in nothing new is added to your springboard all configurations are done inside the settings app on the i user as you see right there and as you can see i have my two users there and in here you can add another user if you choose i can add a user just put default zeros and i can make them an admin or do not make them an admin or and i had to add add user or whatever but if they're not an admin, when they come in here, the only thing they can do is change their password or their username. They can't touch anything else of these settings. So it's kind of like if you had a little sister and both of you shared an iPad, you can have your separate accounts and stuff like that. It's kind of cool. It's a little bit buggy at the moment. As you can see, my SB settings, it doesn't even work. It just comes down like that. And there's a, there's a couple minor bugs. When you install it, it's gonna, and, it, and it reboots your iDevice, it's going to prompt you to create a user account from the screen. And you, all you have to do is create that user account. And then when you go in, you can go and create another account. It's super cool. At first when I installed it, the apps were crashing. But after I rebooted and everything and I fixed it up, they, they stopped crashing so it was cool and if you want to switch user all you have to do is go out touch this and then hit select that user and it takes roughly about 35 sec 35 to 45 seconds to log in now as you can see it already resprung so I'm just gonna log into this account now and it looks the same but when I go into settings as you can see here this user cannot do anything all they can do is change their password and their name as I said this is in the better stages so well we can expect a lot more features and stuff in the future more like a lot more customization rather than you having the same screen as your as other users rather you can have your own screen and stuff but it's in the better that's the main function of it to have multiple users on your iPad not much to really go in depth about to just stay here and do a long video this is just you have multiple account on your iPad that's basically it plain and simple multiple accounts on your iPad and that's an awesome feature in my opinion especially if you share an iPad with someone in your family this would be super cool if they can finish it and perfect it not only finish it but perfect it with that being said please rate comment subscribe have a nice day